Let's talk a minute about common errors. Common errors. People who read the Bible. Common errors. Common really big errors. Now, a lot of times Christians mistake little horn for Satan. They are two completely different entities. Satan is the opposer, opposes God's way, God's will. God and Satan, Lucifer, have a deal. Those who follow you, Lucifer, follow you. Those who follow Word of God, follow the Word of God. But Little Horn is something completely different. Little Horn is an entity that wants total destruction. It's kind of like the antimatter. It's not happy. It's never happy. It knows no happiness. Even when it destroys everything it can possibly destroy, It'll move on to d destroy whatever it can. Complete and total destruction. See, Lucifer wants souls to follow Lucifer. Lucifer doesn't want total destruction. Otherwise, Lucifer gets no souls. But Little Horn doesn't care about souls. Doesn't care about the world. All it cares about is destruction. And if you haven't noticed, Little Horn has been loose upon this earth for quite some time. And who it by far is the most destructive president we've had is Obama. Killing millions of children, destroying country after country. Of course, Bush destroyed Iraq for no reason no good reason all those poor people sacrificing their lives because of a lie so Bush was the beginning of Little Horn's takeover Satan wants your soul everything is destroyed Satan gets no souls the battle we're up against is beyond comprehension to most what's truly disturbing is how many Christians are waiting around to die to be elevated to heaven so in this spiritual battle that we find ourselves in the Christians are no help militia are no help Faith is your only hope. Faith is your only help. And what I'm about to tell you is I have no proof because the transcripts and the video is so choppy. But it's shocking. We had interviewed two brave soldiers who came forth about a year ago they didn't come to us they came to uh, Gideon's way and unfortunately Gideon's way uh, suffers major setbacks like most of them are dead he passed it along to us and Obama is beyond evil what these soldiers had to say about suicides will rock your world. And in short, the underground tunnels, Pizzagate, Pedogate, child trafficking, many soldiers are made to transport those children underground. Hence, the, amount, the immense amount of suicides. 
that we saw under the Obama era. And a lot of the horrible people who committed these crimes, the higher level people, will never be punished because that'll come out and destroy a lot of soldiers' lives unless there's some clever way of doing it. Doing, doing it, what I mean is bring it all out in the open by protecting the innocent. But you have to ask yourself, what would you do? Would you allow yourself to be thrown in the brig or your family killed or transport children to rape parties and sacrifice rituals of the elite? It's a tough question. Something we should all be glad we're not facing. But a lot of these soldiers faced it. And they both confirmed the same story. Along with the guillotines underground. What happened there was they were told that they were going to practice on how to use these guillotines. And they were supposed to be dummies they were practicing on. They didn't turn out to be dummies. Well, how and how can anybody chop off someone's head and not know they're a real person? Well, the people that got their heads chopped off had bags over their head. They were the right height and size of human beings, so the soldiers were told. To be authentic, to work the guillotine. And a lot of them were just plain drugged. The people who were about to get their heads chopped off were drugged. It wasn't until after a soldier cut off someone's head that they knew that it wasn't a dummy. So there you have it, the deception. So Obama is worse than you can possibly imagine. And why that creature is running loose is anybody's guess. Certainly, Lucifer isn't protecting him. And certainly, he's been possessed by Littlehorn that wants to possess every human being on Earth for the total destruction of humanity. So with that, uh, leave, leave this tale of woe placed on you with no evidence. We do have some evidence, but it's really choppy because our stuff was stolen and blah, blah, blah. But I'll leave it on a happy note. You know what I always wanted? I always wanted one of those old-time spindling machines, you know, that they had back in the what, 14, 1500s. I always wanted one of those things. What did you always want? <laughs>